Okay guys, so let's have a look at 6 part A then. I've drawn out the picture of it. Let's go and read the question and then we can put in the actual values, can't we? Here's the picture. You've got a uh, body, so body A and a body B here. A is of mass 5 kilograms and B is of mass 3 kilograms and I've put those values in. They're connected by a light and extensible string over a pulley. Smooth light fixed pulley at the edge of a rough horizontal table. The heavier body A lies on the table and the lighter body B hangs, hangs freely below the pulley as shown. Initially the system is at rest with the strings just taut. The system is then released. Given that the coefficient of friction between A and the table is 0.4, calculate the magnitude of the acceleration A, acceleration of A and the tension in the string. Okay, so let's go to our problem. We'll put all the forces in, shall we? So first of all, there's going to be a tension in the string acting that direction yeah and there's also going to be a tension pulling up on this weight here t the results from the string on a you've got um, it's going to be moving here so it's going to pull it down so we'll suppose this is moving down with acceleration a this is moving along of course with acceleration a because the string is taut um, there's going to be a force here which is going to resist the motion the friction is equal to mu r You've got the mg as the weight of the object, uh, which is 8g. Uh, what's the weight here? 5 kilograms, sorry. So that's 5g there then, isn't it? So that's 5g. You've got your reaction here from the ground. Here you've got your weight, which is mg again, which is 3g. Okay, I think that's everything. So... Let's have a look at the system then. Let's have a look at F equals MA. So at A. Apply F equals MA then across this direction. Tension, minus F, minus F, which is mu R, is equal to mass times acceleration. So 5A. And F equals mu R, of course and vertically so vertically we've got f equals ma and then we've got r minus 5g equals naught yeah so r is equal to um, which implies r equals 5g now we know mu from the question coefficient of friction the value of mu is 0.4. So mu equals 0.4. So f equals mu r and r is 5g. So t minus f, which is mu r, 0.4, times r, which is 5g, is equal to 5a. So there's the tension then. 5 times 0.4 is 2. 2g plus 5a. So t equals 2g plus 5a. Okay. Label that as 1. Now let's have a look down here. We can apply f equals ma in the downwards direction. At b. f equals ma then. 3g minus t equals mass times acceleration. So that tells us then that t equals three uh, t equals three g minus three a. So I've moved the t across that side, and then move the three over that side and read from right to left. Okay, that's number two. So we can work out the acceleration and we can work out the tension, can't we? So let's let them equal one another. So what I'll do is now I've done that. I'll just put it in because I. Yeah, let's move down the page then. So we've got these two equations. Okay, so what does that give us then? It gives us uh, uh, 1 equal to 2 gives, we get uh, 2g plus 5a equals 3g minus 3a. So what does that give us then? Move the g's over to the right. There you go, G. Move the A's over, 8A. Yeah, because the minus 3A comes to be with the 5 to make 8A. 
So then a equals divide by 8 both sides. We'll move the 8 from times to divide. Same thing. G over 8, which equals 9.8 over 8. So let's tap in the calculator. Uh, 9.8 is G divided by 8 equals 1.225. Uh, so it's uh, 1.225 is the acceleration, so it's meters second per second, isn't it? So there's our, our acceleration. So uh, T will equal uh, 2G plus 5A. I'll use that one. 2G plus 5 times A, which is 1.225. So let's work out the tension then. 2g, 2 times 9.8 plus 5 times 1.225. And we get decimal 25.725. Uh, 25.725 newtons. So let's just look back to the question, see what it asked us then, shall we? It said, given that the coefficient of friction between A and B in the table is 0. 0.5, Four, which we put, calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of A and the tension in the string. So, okay. Um, so I think that's the first part then. So let's go back just to look at our answers. 25.725 here, and A is 1.225. Okay, that's it. That's good. Let's just have a look on our curve. Yeah, 20. 5.725. Uh, you could round that to 73, couldn't you? 25.73, if you wished. But I think that's good enough. And that was the first part A, wasn't it? Of that question. 6A. Good. Let's go on to the next part now. Part B. Great.